Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how my students play Stand Up, Hand Up, Pair Up, which is a Kagan strategy. If you don't know what that is, or if you wanna learn more about it, keep on watching. So a lot of you might be asking, what's a Kagan strategy? And basically Kagan strategies work on cooperative learning and cooperative learning is when students are working together, they are learning from one another, they're teaching one another, it's really effective. When I was getting my credential and my master's, um, my program really focused on teachers using Kagan strategies in the classrooms every day, basically. So I'm going to talk to you guys about one of my favorite Kagan strategies. It's called Stand Up, Hand Up, Pair Up. And again, I teach kindergarten, so I'm going to show you how it's done in kindergarten. So like I said, Stand Up, Hand Up, Pair Up is one of my favorite Kagan strategies because the students are walking around the classroom. They are not just sitting at their tables or sitting on the carpet. They are up and moving. The kids love it as well. Um, and they end up talking to a bunch of different classmates. Um, so this is how it works. The teacher gives a topic or a question for the students to answer and talk to one another about. The students stand up, they put their hand up and they walk around the classroom for a little bit. And then when I say pair up, they find the student closest to them, give them a high five, and that's their partner for the moment. So then they answer the question, and once they're done with their conversation, they put their hand up and they just keep walking around the classroom looking for another partner. So like I said, this is one of my favorites. Um, the students love it, and yeah, they end up talking to a bunch of different classmates. So how I start doing this in kindergarten, um, I start this by the end of the first month of school. Um, it does seem a little intimidating because um, I teach super young students, but um, it's really easy to get the hang of just with a lot of practice. It's not gonna be perfect the first day or even the first week, um, but I start off really easy. So um, the topics I give them to talk about are what is your name? What is your favorite color? What is your favorite animal? Just to have the students get the routine down and understand the rules and be comfortable talking to their classmates. So once I notice that the students understand the game and the routines, that's when I throw in the academics to it all. So um, I usually start off with what is this letter? What sound does this letter make? What is this number? What is this sight word? And then I even throw in writing. We do writing every day in my class. So I have them walk around with their writing journals and they tell their classmates what sentence they wrote in their journal today. So you could literally do this with everything. It doesn't matter what grade you teach. Um, it's really effective. And like I said, the students love it. All right, here it is. Here are my students playing Stand Up, Hand Up, Pair Up, reading CBC words to their classmates. Hope you enjoy it. All right, are our cards on the carpet? Yeah. Do we have me ball hands? Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie, we're going to play stand up, hand up, pair up. Say stand up, hand up, pair up. Stand up, hand up, pair up. All right, so we're going to go over the rules. Everybody say rule number one. Rule number one. No running. No running. Rule number two. Rule number two. Stay in this area. Stay in this area. Rule number three. Rule number three. No touching. No touching. Rule number four. Rule number four. Talk to a lot of friends. So all of you have a card with a CBC word, okay, and we all read it in our heads already. Let's see you sitting down with meatball hands. Put the cards on the floor, pretty please. Thank you. So I'm going to have my student of the day, Lizette, stand up. We're going to demonstrate. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your card, Lizette, and I'm going to say stand up and then hand up, and we're going to walk around. Lizette, put your hand up, hand up, hand up, hand up, up. Oh. Lizette needs a partner. We're going to pretend to high five. Pretend. Very good. The taller person is going to go first. Who's taller, me or Lizette? Yeah. Yes, I am. So my question is, what is this word? Okay, Lizette, what is this word? Sound it out. Very good. And do not forget to give your partner a gambit. Good job, buddy. Okay, Lizette, it's your turn now. Ask me, what word is this? Hmm. Huh? Ah. Mm. Ham. Give me a gambit. Oh, thank you so much. And we're, Lizette, we're gonna walk around with our hand up and we're gonna look for another partner, right? Very good. Let's clap for Lizette. Thank you for being amazing. 
All right, let's see who's sitting on their bottoms. Who's ready to play? Who's ready to play? Who's sitting on their bottoms with meatball hands? Oh, and one more rule. Everybody say no drive-bys. No drive-bys. Remember, this is a drive-by. If I'm looking for a partner and I see one, I'm like, eh, no, I don't want to be your partner. That's called a drive-by. That's not nice. We don't like drive-bys. You find the person closest to you who needs a partner and you talk to all your classmates. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, hold on. Walk around. Walk around, walk around. And pair up. Remember, say, what word is this? Okay. You okay? <laughs> Who's taller? Who's taller? Ooh, that's a close one. I think Ariana is. Ariana, go first. What word is this? Very good. Very good. Oh, is that a let's try again, Mia? B B. Very good. Give her a gambit, Jason. Very good. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I teach my students to give each other a gambit when we do Kagan strategies. A gambit is just another word for a compliment. So you might have heard these um, when you were watching my students talk to one another, but these are some gambits that my students give to each other. You're sharp. This kid's on fire. Totally awesome. The kids love it. And um, it's so cute hearing them give each other a gambit. I love it. It makes me so happy. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like it go ahead and give me a like down below and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope you guys have an awesome day